What's up, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how you can add a Stripe button to your WordPress website with the Elementor plugin. It's very easy to do. You can just add it in a few clicks. And for example, you can see a button uh, over here. So it says buy now. Of course, you can change all the text and everything, colors and all the settings. I will show you later in this video, but I will show you how you can add a button and connect it to your Stripe account in this video. And first of all, to be able to add a Stripe button with Elementor, you will need the pro upgrade of Elementor. You can purchase it for only like a few dollars a month. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind if you want to add this button. So if you go to the WordPress dashboard, and this is the WordPress dashboard of my website, and I go to the plugins, then you can see that Elementor and Elementor Pro are activated. So the free version of Elementor, this is this one. You can just download it if you go to add a new plugin, search for the Elementor plugin, and then you can just install and activate it. And for the Elementor Pro upgrade, I have explained in other videos how you can do that. You can just go to the website of Elementor. You can log in with your login credentials. Then you can download the plugin, the Pro upgrade in a zip file. And if you have done that, then you can go to add new plugin and you can just upload the zip file. So after that, you can go to a post or a page. And for this example, I will show it for the homepage of my website. You can click on edit with Elementor and then the Elementor editor will be opened like this. So now let me remove this button and show you from scratch how you can edit. So what you need to do is you need to go over to the widgets overview. You can see it over here already. And if you don't see the screen, then you can click on the icon with the nine dots and then this will appear. So over here you can see all the widgets and you can scroll down. You, can, you need to go to the pro widgets and then scroll all the way down. And there you will see this option, this widget that is the stripe button. So click on it. Then you can drag it onto the canvas on the location where you want to display it. So for this example, I will add it below the button. Now you can see that it has been added. By default, it's set to the right. But if you want to change that, you can go to the content tab. So this is the content tab. Then go down to the button settings, click on it. And here you see the alignment. So there you can make it all the way like this, like this, like that or set it to the center. So now let me show you a few styling options. Uh, for example, if you want to make the button larger, you can go to the style settings. Then you need to go to the typography settings, click on the pencil icon. Then you see the size slider. You can use it to change the size of the button. So now it's set up like this. If you want to change the font of the button, you can go to the family option over here. Now it's set to default, but you can select another font over here if you want to. And if you go to the color option over here, you can see now the background is set to this color, this blue color. But if you click on it, you can also change that to something else. Same goes for the text color. You can see the text color over here. Now it's set to white. But of course, you can also change that if you want to. And if you want to link your Stripe button to your Stripe account, you need to go to the content tab. There you can see this message. It says, for this widget to work, you need to set your Stripe API keys in the integration settings. So let me show you how you can do that. So therefore I go back to the dashboard. In the left menu, you can see Elementor and you need to go to the settings options. Now you can go to the integrations tab, click on it. And if you scroll all the way down, you can see the Stripe integration function. So what you need to do is you need to enter the test secret key and you can find it in your Stripe account. There are a lot of other tutorials available online. So if you don't know where to find it, you can just search for a tutorial and then you can see how you can get the test key and also the live key. So over here you need to enter the test secret key, just copy and paste it. And if you've done that, you can click on validate test API key and then it should be fine. And if that works, then you can add the live secret key also check if that is validated and if that's okay then everything is fine don't forget to save the changes and then all the settings will be saved so that's how you can connect your stripe account and if you have done that then this message won't be displayed anymore because then you have set up the integration so let me go over to a couple of other settings you can enter a product name if it's about a product 
or if you have multiple products on your website you can enter a product name if you want to you can also leave it empty you can set the currency you can set up uh, the product price if that's relevant you can set up the quantity shipping price tax rate here you have the button settings you can change the text now it's set to buy now but you can change that the alignment i have already showed you how that works you can choose if you want to display the icon or not you can set up the icon spacing like this and below that you have some additional options here you can set up stripe test environment so if you want to test the, the if you want to use the test key make sure to select that and also over here you can see that by default it's set to open stripe in a new tab my advice is to leave it like that and you can set up custom messages if you want to so by default it's set to no but if you change to yes now you can see that you have the option to set up a custom message for an error message and also a message for when stripe is not connected so so that's how you can set up custom messages if you have done all the settings make sure to click on the update button to save everything and that's how you can add a stripe button and connect it to your account in just a few clicks so you can support the channel by liking the video of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't already also hit the notifications bell if you want to stay updated on new videos if you have any questions or suggestions for topics for me to make videos about just make sure to let me know in the comments i will read all the comments and i will answer them so thanks for watching again and i'll see you back again in the next video